Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, as you are aware, TCS NQT and Smart Hiring exam is announced. So now each and every day is very very important for you to prepare and crack this examination. In our Brahmastra series, we have started now with the topic. Our today's topic is percentage. This one video. will give you the complete confidence in the percentage topic each and every type of percentage we have covered here so you do not have to worry at all and you will be learning lot of tricks to solve the question quickly in the examination and after that if you want to practice then you can practice from this seat where lot more questions along with the explanation has been given here okay so now let us start with the basic concept first learn the tricks before that if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe so friends the first thing which you should be knowing that how to calculate the percentage faster right okay now so if in the question it has been told 10% increment right so generally the questions will be based on this we will be also solving the previous year problem here right so 10% increment right or 20% decrement so this kind of questions will be more in percentage so friends if it is 10% increment so 10% means what 10 by 100 right that means 1 by 10 so if it is increment you can say sir in the 10 there is one increment right plus 1 so it will become 11 20% decrement means it is 20% is nothing but 20 by 100 so cancel right so 2 by 10 or you can also write 1 by 5 here so in 5 we have decrement of 1 so it will become 4 right so this is how you have to write now second thing is friends so they might ask you to calculate 12 point see they will not give you directly but in the question it will be there 12.5 percentage of 8840 so you should know 12.5 percentage is nothing but 1 by 8 right so 1 by 8 we write it as a 12.5 so 1 by 8 into 8840 so quickly you will be able to solve in the examination right see at the end of the video each and everything will become very very crystal clear for you 84 percentage of 84 percentage of 5500 now so friends this you can quickly solve how so what you can do this 20 you can transfer here so it will become 8400 of And is fifty five. This percentage you can put it here. So now fifty five percent you can easily calculate. Fifty percent is half four two double zero, and five percent will be four twenty. So zero two six four. So four six two zero. So all those things you can you know you can do it in mind. Thirty three point three three percent. It is nothing but one by three into nine three six nine zero, and then you can solve. Three one two three zero. So like this amazing tricks, okay? With the complete explanation. See, right now I am just telling you the steps, but with the complete right, with the complete explanation, you will be seeing each and every problem in this particular video. Now, so let us start with question number one. So, if the length of a rectangle is increased by twenty percent and its breadth is decreased by twenty percent. find the percentage change in the area now many of them so they will take one rectangle and then they will tell you x percent you take x and y and now increment of 20% so x into something they will do right okay many of them will tell you the formula xy divided by x plus y like this but friends trust me the first thing is mathematics right so mathematics is a subject where you do not have to remember the formula second thing if you take x and y the problems will start becoming calculated uh, complicated and you will be having limited amount of time in the examination okay now so let us see how i will solve and then i will explain you so i assumed the length is 100 it is increased to 20% means 120 breadth again i assumed 100 and uh, it is decreased by 20 means 80 and now if we'll try to see so this 0 and 0 i can cancel it okay so 100 and it is 96 so it will be nothing but 4% so there is a decrement of 4% in the area option a will be the correct answer that's all you do not have to do anything okay now so now let us understand uh, the 
clear way of solving it so that you will be also able to solve this problem in mind. So if there is any kind of increment, right? If there is any kind of increment, then add it to 100 and divide by 100. Add it to 100 and divide by 100. If there is any kind of decrement, okay, then subtract it from 100 and divide by 100. These two, if you keep in mind, then percentage and profit and loss, both I will make it very, very easy for you. If there is any kind of increment, if there is any kind of more, then add it to 100, divide by 100. If there is any kind of decrement, if there is any kind of less, if there is any kind of loss, then subtract it from 100 and divide by 100. Okay. Anyway, now, so one more thing which you have to remember, if your options are given in terms of percentage, so if your options are given in terms of percentage, then your problems become very, very easy. Okay. You can assume any value you want. So rectangle will have a length and will have a breadth. Okay. Length and breadth. Now, so you can assume any value which you want. Okay. Now, so area of rectangle will be what? Length into breadth. So suppose the length was 10 and the breadth was 10. Okay. Earlier. Okay. Now, if the length of the rectangle is increased by 20%, sir, why did I assume 10? Why did you assume 10? I wanted to assume 20. Assume. I wanted to assume 50. Assume. Whatever comes to your mind, you can assume. Answer will remain same. Now, so length is increased by 20%. So 20% of 10 will be what? 10. 20% is 2. That means the length will increase to 12. From 10, 20% is 2. So length will become 12. And then breadth. So breadth is decreased by 20%. So 10, 20% is nothing but again 2. So 10 minus 2 will be nothing but 8. So area, length into breadth, 100. And this is the changed one. 12 into 8 is 96. So what is the difference? Difference is 4%. That's all. You will be getting the answer. Sir, I want to assume 20. No problem. I want to assume 20. Remember, the calculation will start increasing. Okay. So length I assumed 20 and breadth also I assumed 20. Then 20% 20 of 20 will be nothing but 4. That means length will now new length will become 24 and 20% 20 decrement. So 20% 20 of 20 will be what again 4. So 4 if you reduce then it will become 16. So you see calculation has started becoming complicated. 20 into 20 is 400 and 24 into 16, right? So 16 to the 320 and then 64. So 4, 8, 3. So 384. Again, I can tell you from here also you can use the shortcut. So always percentage, no, try to find out on 100. Now divide it by 4. So if we divide it by 4, it will be 100 divided by 4, 4, 9, ja, 36 and 4, 6. Ja. So there will be a reduction of 4% in the area. So option A will be the correct answer, right? So there are multiple ways to solve the problem. One more way I will tell you. Friends, 20% increment, right? So just some time back I told you. So it is 20 by 100. 20 by 100 means 1 by 5. 20% increment means from 5 it will become plus 1 means 6, right? See, you see here. So that is the same thing I told you here. 10% increment, 20% decrement, okay? Then, then this is in length. And breadth, they are telling 20% decrement. So 20% decrement. So 20 by 100. Okay. So it will be 1 by 5. Decrement means 5. If we we'll subtract 1, that means 4. So from 5, it became 4. See, basically, your length was 5. And increment of 20%, it became 6. Here, your breadth is 5. And 20% uh, decrement means it became 4. Now multiply 5 into 5 is 25. And 6 into 4 is 24, right? But percentage will be always calculated on 100. So try to make it 100. So multiply by 4 here. Multiply by 4 here. So it is 100 and it is 96. So the diff uh, so here if you'll see, so the difference is 4. And when your base is 100, you can directly say, sir, it is 4%. See how I am directly writing 4% because the base is 100. I am directly writing 4%. So I will tell you the multiple ways to think and solve the problem okay now question number two question number two is not a simple problem most of the students will definitely uh, do the mistakes here or they will take more time a student multiplied a number by three by five instead of five by three so basically original so originally he had to multiply by five by three okay but what 
he did a mistake okay and he multiplied by 3 by 5 right okay what is a percentage error now the options are given in terms of percentage then the problem is going to become very very easy okay because you are free to assume any value now what value should i assume because that also you have to think and do somebody sir i will take 100 if you'll take 100 then this number will go into fraction then don't take 100 here okay instead of that what we will do we will take lcm of 5 and 3 so lcm of 5 and 3 will be 15 just take 15 okay because you have to find out the percentage error now so this is five times and this is three times so this became 25 and this became nine but you have to find out error right percentage errors percentage will be always calculated on 100 see instead of 25 you have written nine okay now so if you want to calculate percentage multiply by four year multiply by four year this became 100 and this became 36 that means if the base is 100 you can directly say sir the difference is 64 or I can also say it is 64 percentage. Okay, what I did, I multiplied with the same value on both the side. Okay, why? Because I wanted to make it 100. Okay, see uh, many people what they can do. So here it is original value is 25 and mistaken value is 9. So you can calculate the percentage. So what is the difference basically? 64, right? What is the original value from where the mistake has happened? 25 into 100. So this is four times. 16 into 4 will be 64 percent see i'm telling you the easiest way i'm telling you the easiest way to solve this problem but anyway this is a basic method which you all are aware if you are not aware no problem i will tell you right see if the original value suppose is if the original value here is 25 and the mistaken value is 9 okay now so what is the error so basically 16 is the error 25 minus 9 so 16 is the error instead of 25 we have got 9 16 is the error and this error has happened where on the original value original value is 25 and there only you have done the mistake see if the original value would not have been there you would not have done the mistake and multiply by 100 because you have to calculate the percentage 64 percent will be the correct answer right okay so friends like this shortcut techniques i'm going to tell you in my sessions right okay so i just wanted to tell you friends so if you are really serious about TCS NQT or TCS Smart Hiring, any of the examination, if you really want to crack it, okay? See, now we are solving the previous year question only. Then you can go for this crash course, right? The lot of content has been added. Here I have told you how to access the course. So you can watch the video and I will also uh, putting one introduction video like how to access the content. Everything has been given in a very proper way, right? So, you know, aptitude and numerical ability so aptitude videos then the difficult level of the problem right reasoning okay so reasoning uh, videos are there then reasoning practice videos are there verbal ability are there okay and mock test 33 video mock test is there right that means you have to uh, questions will be given and along with that solution will be given for reasoning and aptitude okay then verbal ability is there programming videos are there programming videos right so here you can see uh, if you have enough time you can decide what you have to study. But if you're going for the exact things what you study, then you can go for this coding crash course and then the previous year question. 74 videos are more than sufficient, right? So here we have covered uh, the basics of, you know, basics with problem. It's not only only insertion sort is there, no. With insertion sort, problems are there, right? Okay, bubble sort, it's not only bubble sort. With bubble sort, problems are there, right? Okay, so all those things has been covered. And then the programming like previous year questions are there tcs and qt part one so these are the you know coding videos and then again uh some recent videos also we have covered here right so there are a lot of uh you know previous year questions are there lead codes are there which is more than sufficient for you to crack tcs examination and we will be adding more content okay now along with all those things you will tell sir how to practice so for practice right so here you can see fully solve TCS previous year aptitude reasoning and coding question. So there you can see almost 250 plus pages are there. And see, if somebody wants, okay, sir, I want to solve basic, you know, problem. So page number one to 13, basic concepts are there. TCS previous year problems are there 14 to 75. Practice problem for TCS is there. TCS 30 minutes coding challenges are there, right? So you can, you know, see like the, all the contents, everything is there. Okay. And all practice question then solutions are there right so there are more than you know 200 and 
200 and pages are there basically later on it was increased as well so it will be more than sufficient for you to practice and crack any of the exams it's not only tcs right so basically we have released crash course of tcs so i know uh, we have covered all those things but it is for any of the exams it is worth and the price is just 999 rupees the link will be in descriptions get it today itself now so all the tricks and techniques will be covered in the course mohan income is 40% more than the sam income sam income is what percentage less than mohan income in this kind of question most of the students will have confusion let us see no problem options are in percentage if the options are in percentage the problems becomes very very easy okay now so mohan income is 40% more than sam income sam income i assumed 100 then mohan income 40% more means 140 simple now sam income is what percentage less than mohan income first see first forget about percentage okay so sam income is what value less than mohan income so sam income is 40 less than mohan okay now now we have to calculate percentage now you see sam income is getting compared with who sam income is what percentage less than mohan income so put mohan down mohan is 140 into 100 so wherever the comparison will be there that will come down okay i will tell you one simple thing so friends you might have seen modi and rahul gandhi right so whenever modi will talk about rahul gandhi right he will keep him down he will talk everything negative like rahul gandhi did this Rahul Gandhi did that, right? And Modi will keep himself up. Human nature, percentage also work in the same thing. So whomever you are comparing, that will come down. Now, whenever Rahul Gandhi will talk about Modi, then Modi did this wrong, Modi did this wrong, right? So Modi, he will keep it down and Rahul Gandhi keep, will keep it himself up, right? Okay. So whomever you are comparing, that will come down. This, if you solve, you will be able to get the answer. So 2, 7, ja, and 2, 2, ja. so 207 times. So 7, 2, ja, 14. And 7, 8, ja, 56. So 28, 4, 7. 28, 4, 7, option C will be the correct answer, right? Okay, fine. Now, if marks of Sam is 33.33 percentage less than Ram, then marks of Ram is how much percentage more than that of Sam? Okay, now, friends, 33.33 percentage. So basically, in my classes, no, uh, basics, uh, simplification and all, when you will uh, get this crash course, right? So when you will check the content, so simplification videos will be there, right? So in this simplification, I have told all the tricks and techniques, right? So if you if you play it, right? So here you will be able to see it is nothing but one by three. Okay, now, so here I will put, if the marks of Sam is uh, 31 less than Ram. So here I will put Ram and here I will put Sam. Okay, now, now the option is given in terms of percentage. That means we are free to assume any value, but always remember, right? So you have to consider, see some practice is required. So you have to consider such a value that your calculation will be easy. So here Ram marks, I will assume 300. Sir, why? Why 300? Why not 100? Because if I will consider 100, right? 33.33 means nothing but 1 by 3. So if I will multiply by 1 by 3, then I will be getting fracts and decimal and all those things. I don't want to do that. So I will take 300. Sir, I want 600. Take I want 900 take, I want 1200 take. Just make sure that this value is divisible by three. That's all, okay? Now, sir, I want to take 30. Take, ma'am. Take, right? So there is no problem at all. So you can take any value. Just make sure that, okay, this will be divisible by three. Okay, now, suppose if I take 300 here, okay? Now, then the marks of Sam is 33.33 percentage less. That means 33% is nothing but one by three. So 300 and 1 by 3, if you calculate 100, that means Siam is nothing but 100 less than Ram. Siam is nothing but 100 less than Ram. That means Siam is nothing but 200. Clear? Okay. Now, now please try to understand here. Okay. Then Ram is how much percentage more than that of Siam? Forget about percentage. So Ram is how much more than Siam? So Ram is 100 more than Siam. Now, Ram is getting compared with whom? So Ram is more than that of Sam. So Sam, you bring it down. Okay. And then it is nothing but two, five times. Uh, so it will be 50 times, right? So this is two times and this is 50 times. So 50% option C will be the correct answer. That's all. Try to understand, right? The problems are easier. The only thing is it depends upon, uh, you know, how much practice you do and how easily 
you uh, focus here so that you will be able to understand here right in a certain exam a got 38% marks and failed by 18 marks whereas b got 49% marks and scored 15 marks more than the passing marks print this kind of questions now uh, in tcs it will be more right so trust me so from in the last two years whatever exam has happened this particular question has been asked always okay now i mean this kind of so in a certain exam a so a got 38% of the marks but failed by but failed by 18 marks so a got 38% marks but a is failed by 18 marks means if i will give 18 marks to a then a will pass then a will pass right so a will pass yes or no fine whereas b so whereas b got 49% marks okay and they scored 15 marks more than the passing marks so if i will minus 15 marks then b will also pass now both passing marks so passing marks i will equate okay so percentage and percentage i will keep it one side so here 18 and 15 i will bring it this side and here 49 percentage minus 38 percentage so here 11 percentage will be equal to 11 percentage will be equal to 33 so 1 percent will be equal to 3 1 percent is 3 maximum marks will be always 100 percent so 100 percent will be nothing but 300 okay this is clear so maximum marks of the exam is 300 okay now what is a marks so a has a score 38 percent so 38 percent of a one by one we will calculate is nothing but 3 8 are 24 11 114 right okay then passing marks so passing marks i will take this particular one so passing marks is nothing but 38 percent and plus 18 so 38 percent we have already got a marks 114 and plus 18 it will be nothing but 132 so passing marks is 132 now they're asking passing percentage so passing marks is 132 what is the total marks 300 calculate percentage means multiply by 100 cancelled 44 so 44 percentage will be the passing marks right so this kind of questions only you will be expecting in the examination now question number six so this kind of question really troubles many of the student i know okay let us try to understand let us try to solve a person sold an article at a loss of eight percent loss okay loss eight percentage percentage is nothing but eight by hundred so four twos are and four twenty five times, right? Okay. So loss means minus. So from twenty five, basically, if I bought in twenty five, now two rupees loss means I will be selling it at twenty three rupees. Okay. Had he sold at a gain of sixteen percent, now gain percentage is sixteen percent means sixteen by hundred. That means 4, 4, 4, 25. That means if I would have bought at 25 and sold it at 29, right? Plus 4, right? So now this will be clear because we are doing multiple problems based on that, okay? Right? From 25, he would have sold at 29, okay? Then he would have received 36 rupees more. Then in this whole, right? In this loss and gain process, he would have received 36 rupees more. But here if we we'll try to analyze because we are using a trick to solve this so here if you'll see it is nothing but six rupees difference but actual difference is nothing but 36 that means one unit is nothing but 36 by six that means six rupees now they're asking what is the cost price of the article so the cost price of the article was 25 when it was lost it sold at 23 and when it was a profit it sold at 29 one unit is 6 so 25 unit will be 25 into 6 it is nothing but 150 so option b will be the correct answer such a complicated problem with such a simple solution right so for that basic you know strong basic is required problem more number of problem when you are solving that is required then t what tcs any exam you will be able to crack it okay now all these are tcs problems okay 
So all these are TCS problems. So don't worry now. So if you type on Google, Google will also tell you if the numerator of the fraction is increased by 150% and the denominator of a fraction is increased by 350%, then the resultant fraction is 25 by 51. What is the original fraction now? So suppose numerator is X. It is increased by 150%. So in the beginning, I had told you if there is any increment, Okay, I think I have raised it. Uh, yes. So if there is any increment, add it to 100 and divide it to 100. If you remember this now, then percentage and profit and loss, I will make it easy. So 150 increment, then add it to 100. It will become 250 and divided by 100. If and denominator I assumed, numerator I assumed X and denominator I assumed Y. Okay. Now, okay. So, and the denominator of the fraction, in fact, you know, uh, one more thing which I wanted to tell you. So, even if you will see this seat, you know, right. So, here also all those things I have written, okay. So, you do not need to watch the complete video, right. So, only this will also help you. So, let us see here. I, I just wanted to show you, okay. So, percentage, if we will try to see where the basic of the concept has been discussed. So, there also, uh, I will have to go up more up. Okay, fine, no problem. Yeah, so percentage, average. Okay, so average profit and loss. Okay, and uh, in profit and loss, okay, the concept has been discussed. So percentage, I need to search it, okay. So percentage concept will be also there. Okay, so each and everything has been covered. I, you need to find it out, okay. So all the topics wise, or uh, the concept has been covered. Ratio and proportion number system, mixer relegation. Okay. So you can search it off, right? So there also, you know, are the quick revision guide. So this will be acting as a quick revision guide concept on percentage, right? So you can see concept on percentage is discussed here. So this will become your quick revision guide where you will be able to quickly revise. So whatever concept has been told now, which I'm telling you here in the similar fashion, it is mentioned there, right? So again, so the fraction is increased by 350. So add it to 100. So 100 plus 350 will be 450 divided by 100. Okay. Now, and this fraction, the resultant fraction is 25 by 51. Okay. So this 51 is a fraction of 17. You do not need to even solve it. You can directly say, sir, option B will be the correct answer because 51, right? 51 is a fraction of prime number 17 and 17, you cannot solve it. You cannot divide it. So 17 will be here because 17 is a prime number. It has a prime number factor. Okay. Now, so you can anyway, but if you want to solve 100 and 100 will cancel, 0, 0 will get canceled. 25, 25 will get canceled. So X by Y will be 45 by 51. So this is 15 times. It is 17 times. So this prime number concept, right? So this prime number concept is also a concept which you should definitely be knowing. Then only your problems will become easier for you. Right? Okay. Again, one more difficult problem for you, but we will try to make it easier. The reduction of 20% in the price of rice enables a person to obtain 50 kg more for rupees 450. Find the original price of rice per kg. Now, if you want to solve this question quickly, you need to remember one concept in your mind. You need to understand one concept in your mind. Okay. Now, friends, so suppose, right, see the price is same. Basically, see, if the rice price decreases, then a person buys more for 50 kg for 450 rupees only. So suppose uh, the rice price is 100 rupees. First understand, okay? And now you are buying 2 kg. So what is the total amount you are investing? 200 rupees, okay? Or suppose take it is 4, 4, k, uh, 4 kg. So 100 rupees is the rice price. You are eating 4 kg rice in a month. So total you are spending 400 rupees. Now, so here the rice price suppose increased. Okay. Then you will definitely start eating less. Then only your price will remain same. Agreed or not? So price, no. Price is inversely proportional to quantity. So if the price will reduce, you will have more quantity. If the price will increase, then you will eat less quantity, right? So this, if you keep in mind, that's all. See here, if you'll see, right? So this is how we have to 
go ahead right so rice is here 100 rupees and kg is 4 right and basically uh, see i have not got in the form of uh, you know the ratio but please uh, try to understand the concept okay now now here if you'll see the reduction of 20 percent in the price of rice enables 20 percent is nothing but 20 by 100 right okay that means 1 by 5 so from 5 reduction okay reduction means minus so from 5 the rice price became 4 that means the ratio is nothing but 5 is to 4 so this is the price ratio now quantity ratio will become what because price and quantity is inversely proportional so this will become 4 is to 5 right so this is quantity wise now so basically if you'll see so a person enables to obtain 50 kg more here it is nothing but here it is nothing but 1 kg right so 1 kg but here it is 50 kg so 1 kg and actual difference is what 50 kg now so 1 will be equal to 50 okay so 4, 4 will be equal to 4 into 50 200 and 5 into 50 it will be nothing but 250 right so earlier earlier he was buying 200 kg and now he is buying 250 kg so earlier in 450 rupees the person was buying 200 uh, kg right that means it is nothing but 2 point uh, if i'm not wrong then uh, 22 and 5 so 2.25 rupees right so the original price was nothing but 2.25 rupees and what they're asking original price of the rice so it is option d 2.25 right i hope it will be clear to you if not one more problem is there the reduction of 10 percent in the price so 10 percent is nothing but 10 by 100 1 by 10 right okay so reduction so reduction means from 10 it became 9 okay now so this is nothing but price and if we we'll talk about price and if we we'll talk about quantity 9 is to 10 okay now so here the difference is 1 but the actual difference is equal to 2 so 1 is equals to 2 9 so 9 into 2 and 10 into 2 so this will be 18 and this will be 20 that means earlier he was buying 18 kg and now he is buying 20 kg right okay for how many rupees 180 so in 180 right earlier he was buying 18 kg so that means 10 rupees per kg that means 10 rupees per kg so option a will become the correct answer right so like this any problem now you will be able to solve i am damn sure okay fine the last problem for today the price of a tablet is first increased by 10 percent and then decreased by 25 percent due to reduction in sales what is the net percentage change in the final price of the tablet? So suppose options is given in terms of percentage, your problem became very, very easy, my dear friend. Suppose the price was 100 rupees. Okay. Now, the price of a tablet is first increased by 10%. If there is any kind of increment, add it to 100 and then divide by 100. Okay. And then, see, this is a successive increment decrement. Okay. And then decreased by 25%. So, decrement means subtracted from 100 and divide by 100. So, 100 into 110 by 100, just solve it into 75 by 100. So, this 00, zero cancelled and this 00, zero cancelled and then 5. So, 11 into 75 multiplication, you know, 5, uh, 7, 2 and 8. 8, 125 by 10, it will become 82.5. So, from 100, 100 was the price of the tablet. Now it became 82.5. The loss is 17.5. And in terms of percentage, it will become 17.5 percentage because if 100 is the base, then the percentage or the value will become equal. So friends, once again, uh, so this crash course is definitely going to help you out. So get this crash course uh, from the link given in description. Uh, the price has been increased because a lot of content has been added here and not only for this exam it will be also useful for the other exams as well right and treat it as a demo video the quality you can see here thank you take care and all the very very best